Hi everyone! I hope everyone is doing well and thanks for your interest in Exact Contacts Agent website. I'm excited to be here with you all today and thank you so much for taking your time and joining us. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is start off by introducing myself and talking about what we're going to discuss in today's webinar, uh, the purpose of it. So first, my name is Jennifer Yitzi. I'm the Customer Success Manager for Exact Contact. And uh, the purpose of this webinar is really to talk about and show you our agent website solution. You may have already read about all of our features and IDX integrations, but really, what does all of that mean and what does it look like? <laughs> so um, I will speak about each setup section for the website, what it pertains to, what it looks like, and of course, why it's important. I'm going to show you real life examples of some exact contact customers' websites. I'll, I'll point out um, as we go through it, I'll point out the features and the customizations that these folks have done to their websites. I'm also going to cover some frequently asked questions about our website and in particular about the IDX integrations. Um, I just want to clarify before we move forward that this webinar, it's not a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get your website and IDX packages set up. We currently have a series of video tutorials and those videos really provide you with an in-depth step-by-step guide um, of you know how to set up your website, how to set up the IDX. Really those videos they cross cross every T, dot every I. So I wasn't about to go and replicate what we've already got. <laughs> um, and I will show you where you would be able to find those resources. Um, you do have them available on our public site, but we have linked them up when you are going through the motion of setting up your website and IDX packages. We've tied those links in there. So I'll point them out when we get there. Um, but before diving into the presentation, I'll start off by talking about the importance of, of having a personal agent website. So number one, um, it's really, really low cost advertising. Very low cost. Um, having a real estate website also, also provides uh, in any time accessibility of information to your customers and to the public. And in the digital world today, Buying and selling of homes is mostly happening through the internet. Throughout the home buying process, more and more buyers are taking to the internet first and really they are doing extensive research before they make a decision uh, to purchase or make a decision on who they're going to work with. So um, having a website makes it virtually visible to a vast pool of potential clients who are using the internet to find their home. It plays a vital role in building your brand. It gives visitors the first impression of your business and it creates an online presence of your business. Customers can visit your site at any time for the information that they require. You can even provide a step-by-step -step guide on the home buying or selling process. You can have contact forms on your site that you can then turn your website visitor into leads. It improves your level of customer service. Pages like neighborhoods, frequently asked questions, really help customers find the answers to their questions before even contacting you. And it can certainly build and help you establish a reputation when you add testimonials and reviews about your achievements and services. So in today's agenda, um, I'm going to go over the website features. Where do you actually go to activate your website? Uh, what can you customize? What is IDX and why do you want it? Uh, I'll show you where you can actually find the IDX comparison table and we've even tied in some demos for you. That way you're in a position to, to see everything you get and make an informed decision. And then of course, like I said earlier, um, I will be taking you to some real live website examples that some of our exact customers have, uh, you know, taken it to another level, so to speak. 
So let's get into it. I'm going to just hop over to another slide here and quickly go over some of the great features that you get with Exact Contacts website. So first of all, pre-designed, professionally written, 16 pages of content right out of the box. What does that mean and what does that look like? I will be showing you that. Um, the, the websites display beautifully on all devices. It includes smart lead capture forms for buyers, sellers, home evaluation, and more. You can change the page layouts, select color themes, include images, and even embed video. You can add your photo, logo, sync up your social media links, and other brand elements. Each month, Exact Contact gives you fresh, original blog content that you can automatically post. You've got the social media reach um, that you can use by selecting widgets to pull in your Facebook and Twitter feeds into your Exact Contact Agent website. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. With the IBX integration, you display the content that real estate prospects are looking for. Listings. You can, um, oh, I already mentioned the video part. Uh, last but not least, and I mean there, there are other features, but I'm not going to list out everything. It is very easy to set up. So, uh, in summary, the agent websites are beautifully designed. They're customizable. They look great on every device. Your website comes pre-populated with high quality written content and mobile optimized images. And you've got that blog that we provide the content for. You can edit your website content and add pages as much as you like. Just, just like our, um, our CRM and our email marketing solution, the agent website is easy to set up and use, and the exact contact support team is available to provide you with the dedicated concierge service you need to be set up for success. So let's get to it. First thing is, um, where do you go to activate your agent website? So I'm going to hop into and show you that. So when you're logged into your account, you want to go hit the user profile icon on the top right corner, your top right corner of the screen, and you get to the user profile section. Stay on the first tab called user profile and just scroll down to the bottom of the page. You will see there's the section for exact contact agent website and all you have to do is click on this link, set up your exact contact agent website and essentially follow the steps. Uh, we do have a video tutorial here available that you can watch that will walk you through the initial first three steps, uh, three steps rather, to get your website launched. Um, the, in the, those initial three steps, what you're going to be doing essentially is selecting your design, indicating the domain that you're going to use, whether you've got an existing one or you need to set up a new one, and if you're going to opt to have an IDX package. Those are the first three things you do to get your website launched. Once your website's launched, you've got the ability of signing into your website control panel, where you can then work with your website, make changes, customizations. Let's get to that. So um, for this part, I'm actually going to log into my own account. And I'm just going to do that in a different tab so that I've got my other tab that I need there. So simply, I'm going to go log into my account, go to my user profile section, still under the first tab, user profile, go down to the bottom of the page. Since my website has been launched, I no longer have the link to activate the website. I now have a link where I can click here to log into my website control panel. So I'm going to do exactly that. And um, you, one thing to note, you didn't see it because I've been logged in here multiple times today, so my cash and cookies are picking it up. 
But basically, um, you do have a login to get to your website control panel. That would be your email address and your user ID. You do get uh, an email when your website is launched. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So you get an email. Thank you for setting up your exact contact agent website. In this email, there are details on getting your domain um, pointed. So you're going to want to go through this email and, of course, um, follow the instructions. If you need, and it says right here, important, <laughs> if you need any assistance getting anything set up, again, our customer support team is available to help. We've added in their phone number right here in the email that you get when you've launched your website. So be sure to look out for that email. Go through it carefully. Read the instructions. And again, if you need help, just give us a call. Okay. Back over to the control panel in my account. So first thing that we're going to go over is uh, the, the, the first section, personal information. And you know what, I'm just going to go back for a second because I am going to point out, as I said earlier, we do have video tutorials for you to be able to get a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how you would set up your website. In addition, we've provided videos for um, how do you go about setting up your IDX. So right here in your control panel on the welcome page. All right, personal information. So this is um, pretty self-explanatory for the beginning. Uh, you simply add in your name, first name, last name, your title, sales representative, broker, whatever. Here you've got your personal slogan. So if you already have a personal slogan that you use, simply type it in here. If you don't have a personal slogan and you want one, um, we've actually provided a predefined list of personal slogans that you can scroll through. You can select any one of these and use this if you like. So that's available to you. You give your website a title. Um, most, most of our customers put their name there. And then you can start adding in your company info. So I've got the company name, address, my contact info. This isn't my real contact info, folks, so don't write that down. Um, and then towards the bottom of the personal information section, you have the ability of adding in compliance logos. So if that is something that is deemed necessary by your board, this is where you would insert those compliance logos. If you don't need a compliance logo, you can utilize this section to add in other logos like designations and or awards. So that's exactly what I did here. These, I don't have these designations or awards. That is just for example purposes, folks. Um, I played around a little bit, basically just scooped up the first images I found. Um, so I've given myself the SRES designation. I've given myself some awards for last year. So you've got the ability of absolutely adding in those logos. Um, once you're done with the personal information, you would simply save those changes. So um, let's see what that would actually look like on somebody's website. I'm going to go click on, let's click on this one, Gloria. So you'll see here, she's added in some info. She's got her name, her title. Here's her personal slogan. She's got um, her company logo here, uh, but she's also got her own kind of a branding thing happening here that she's inserted. So she's got that. Um, I don't know if she's added in any logos. I'm just going to quickly go down here to, oh, she added in this logo down here. So she hasn't inserted any awards or com compliance logos, at least not here. All right. Just wanted to show you what that would look like. Let's see, maybe I'll go look at another one quickly to give you an idea. So again, this is actually a team website. Uh, I'm not gonna really talk too much about team uh, teams in today's webinar, but just to give you an example, I mean, this, this is totally doable and possible. So they've inserted a, a photo of the both of them. They've got both their names. They have their own kind of um, branding logo that they inserted and then they've got their company. So just to give you an idea of some of the different things that you can do and of course how it would display on your website page. Okay, we're back in the control panel now 
And we're going to go to the section called appearance. Appearance. Okay, great. Here, basically, this is where you can personalize the appearance of your website. You choose your color palette. So these are the color palettes. You add in your photo, simple upload of your photo. Same thing with the company logo, simple upload of that image. And then you can also have a banner quote. Uh, again, if, if you don't have your own banner quote, um, we provided you with a predefined list of banner quotes that you can pick and choose from. So if you want one, you can simply go through this list and pick one that you like the best. And let me show you what the banner quote um, would look like. After you've selected an image, so we've got a whole bunch of images here for you, the banner quote is actually going to show up over the image. So let me show you what that looks like. Let's go over to here. Home page. So here's the, ba uh, here's the banner quote. Professional service with a difference. And that's what I mean by it shows up over the top of the image. Um, so you may have some trial and error here, depending on the type of image that you've got. Maybe you're utilizing one of uh, your own banner graphics. So you just want to be aware that you might have to play around with this, uh, depending on how it looks. In this case, I think it looks great. OK, so that's the banner image. Uh, let me show you another one. Here you go. So here's the this one, how it's dis displaying on this uh, team's website. There you go. OK. Um, if, if you wanted any kind of assistance, uh, like I said earlier, if you have your own banner graphic that you want to utilize, um, you can give our support team a call and they can assist you and ask them about our custom banner image service. Again, um, they can be reached at 1-866-265-6990 Monday through Friday between 9 a.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, that's pretty much it for the appearance. So again, you're choosing here, you're choosing your color palette, adding your photo, your company logo, putting in a banner quote and a banner image, and then you hit save. That's simple. Okay, now we're going to get into the IDX. So I'm just going to hop over into the IDX section. Okay. Here um, in your control panel in the IDX section, this is um, where you have the ability to opt to display the content that basically real estate prospects are looking for, listings. You can showcase your active listings by automatically adding them to your featured listings page through your MLS system. And basically it brings your website to life with listing galleries, um, and on the website pages and sidebars. So, um, and I will be showing you some more examples of some uh, agent websites and uh, how the listings display. With the IDX integration in your agent website, you will effectively capture the attention of quality leads and prospects who are looking to make a move and need the assistance of a realtor eye-catching galleries and user-friendly search features make it easy for website visitors to find their dream home on your real estate website, bringing them one step closer to becoming your customer. The IDX listings on your real estate agent website, they're search engine friendly, making your site even more findable by search engines like Google and Bing. And hey, who doesn't want that? Okay. When you get to the part where you select an IDX package and you want to see more details on, on this so that basically you can make an informed decision, you want to click on the click here. This is going to take you to a comparison table. And I think Exact Contact has done a great job of itemizing what it is that you get with no IDX package. So that's this column what you get with the standard package that we offer, and what you get with the IDX professional package. 
We've even inserted demos. So you can watch a quick little demo um, what, it, what an agent website would essentially look like with no IDX integration. What it would look like with the standard package and what the website would look like with the professional package. Um, I'm not going to go through this whole list because honestly I think there's like more than a hundred things here and that would take up too much time in our webinar. But I am going to point out, you can see visually um, right away, you can see what you get, what you don't get. Nice checklist, makes it really easy. But I am going to point out two sections in specific. So right away you can see with the IDX integration, um, when you don't have IDX, you've got essentially, you know, nothing for the property search capability. Um, with the standard, you do have some options, but of course with the professional package, it's really an elevated uh, experience that the user would have when they're going through your site and doing searches for properties. So that's for the IDX uh, property search. But then if I go down a little bit for, further, and I know this is important to you folks, lead generation. So really a huge difference. As you can see, the IDX professional package really gives you that um, additional level of lead capture that I know agents want. So you've got access to this, please feel free to come here, have a look, check out those demos. That way you're in a position to really make an informed decision on how you want to set up your website with or without IDX. Okay, um, before I start to kind of go through uh, or move forward rather, I want to kind of go over some frequently asked questions that we get here on IDX. We, we, we get quite a few. Um, so I'm going to cover all of that and you might have already kind of thought of these questions yourself as I was going through the presentation. So you might, you might get some answers right away. So first thing, uh, we get this all the time. Why? Why do I want to use IDX? The truth is, it's an IDX website, it's a win-win. It's a win for real estate agents and it's a win for prospective customers. Um, the realtors, you guys get the most appealing listings featured in front of prospective buyers. And the buyers get access to the most reliable, up-to-date information about the homes that they're interested in. Incorporating up-to-date listings on your agent website really is a powerful way to generate leads online and offer a positive user experience to um, the visitors who go to your site. You can even post your listings automatically to Facebook. Okay, here's another question. Do I need IDX when I set up my website? No, no you don't. You can add it in later. Um, you, you've, you've got the ability of changing your mind. If you opt to start with an IDX standard package and a couple of months go by and you decide that, you know what, you're going all in, you want IDX Pro, you can absolutely make that change. No problem. So you've got that control. If you don't have IDX, you, um, you'll have dummy data uh, that displays that you can kind of test and try out. So even if you're, you know, you don't opt in for the IDX, you can have data that you can play around with. Think of it this way. Essentially, you can have an IDX sandbox that you can kind of play around in. You can fill out those lead capture forms. You can check out how the listings look, how interactive it is. So that way, again, you can make an informed decision later on down the road should you opt in for an IDX package. Uh, a next question that we get that, of course, is very, very popular and uh, very important to realtors, and that is, can I get leads? Yes, absolutely. With Exact Contact, your SEO-friendly real estate agent website includes smart lead capture forms for buyers, sellers, home evaluations, and more. You're alerted via email when you receive a lead you have the, you can jump on that opportunity before your competitors do, and you can have an immediate response time. 
leads are automatically captured into your database so you don't even have to type them in. And you can even auto assign leads to targeted email nurture campaigns and or your monthly e-newsletter. Okay. Um, maybe before I move forward with some other questions, I should show you a couple of things. So one, um, I am going to dive into the section for the lead capture forms, but I did speak about the fact that you will receive um, email notifications and those leads are auto populated into your exact contact CRM. So let me quickly show you what that all looks like before we move forward. I'm just going to hop into my Outlook here quickly and I'm going to scoop up an email. I got a couple of emails here. So uh, I've, I've uh, got email notification for a buyer lead. So it tells me right here at the top, it was a buyer lead capture form that was filled out. Here is the contact information. I also see, uh, so I got their email address, their name, their phone number, and the original source. I know that this lead came from my website. And then, of course, a comment. So now I understand what it is, is that this person is looking for. Oh, and oh, look at that. They let me know that they're currently a renter. So this is probably a first time purchase for these folks. Good to know. Uh, next, I've got a seller lead that was captured. So right here at the top, it tells me it's a seller lead. And again, I've got the person's contact information, original source. It came from my website. And then now they've added in a comment. Oh, they're thinking about selling their home and they would like a home evaluation. Good to know. And this really, this both, both those leads sound like great prospects. Pretty confident I'm going to be able to turn those two around into clients. So that's the email notification that you get when you get a lead through your exact contact agent website. Uh, as I said earlier, those leads are automatically captured into your website. So let me show you what that looks like. I will, oopsie, I will hop back over to my account, go up to the top. Those, um, those leads, they funnel on through to my utility section. I basically have to go in and accept them. And here, uh, here you go. That's where they are. So once they're accepted, those, those leads are going to go come on over into my contact um, Rolodex, essentially. And I've got the ability of predefining and setting that up so they automatically receive nurture emails and or my monthly e-newsletter. And of course, as soon as I got that lead, I contacted those individuals personally over the phone. So that's... Um, Kind of wanted to just go over what I just spoke about in terms of can I get leads, how it works, the automation that's in place. So hopefully that's shed a lot more light for you. Um, next question. Does exact contact help me point my existing domain? Absolutely we do. So um, as you saw earlier, you get that email when you've gone through the motions of activating and launching your website. If, and I said earlier, if you need any help pointing that domain, just give us a call at our support toll-free number and they will assist you with that. And it's a fairly quick process. Um, kind of piggyback, piggybacking off of the domain question, um, a, a sort of um, additional question that we get on top of that is, can I point more than one domain. Yes, you can. Think of it this way, just like um, you can forward an email address to multiple other emails, you've got the ability of pointing more than one domain to another account. Um, here's another one that we get. If I already have a website, do I need to switch to this one? No, you don't. You're not required to use exact contacts agent website solution. Simply just don't activate it. You've always got it there in your user profile section. So should anything happen, you've always got the ability of activating it. But if you don't want it, just don't activate it. And then um, the last question that we get uh, about more about the website side of things than the IDX is, can I have the website only and not the CRM? No, you cannot. 
you are subscribing to our CRM and email marketing solution and the agent website is part of that solution. It's a three in one solution that we offer. So you have to have the CRM in order to have the website. So that's the answer to that. And um, what I'm going to do now is kind of uh, just quickly talk a little bit about what happens when you go through the motions. Um, when you select the IDX package, what's going to happen? So first thing, you go through this, you choose your board. There is a one-time setup fee of $65, and it says it right here. And again, that $65 is only initiated once you've gone through the board approval process. You're going to get an email with instructions. So, you know, you're going to want to review that email and follow those instructions. Again, if you need any assistance, our support team is here and they're available to, to help you out. Okay. So that's the first three steps. So you basically go and you activate your agent website, you set up your domain, and you choose an IDX package or not. That's how you get started with it. Um, once you've gone through those first three initial steps of creating and launching your website, you can now hop into your control panel and start setting up your personal branding, your lead capture, social media links. You can customize content on those pages that we've provided. And of course, you can set up the blog section as well. So we're going to go through that. First, I'm going to start with the social media. So this is where you can set up your social media links. You can have up to four social media links showing and set up. You have the option of selecting Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Google+, Pinterest, and or Instagram. Uh, important thing to note. The setup for these links uh, on your website, it's honestly, it is different for each one. So um, we do have the video tutorials that walk you through how to set each one of these up. But of course, again, if you need assistance, don't hesitate. Please feel free to call us. We're, we are here to help. Um, the other neat thing is, it, is in addition to having these social media links on your website, you can add feed widgets for Facebook and or Twitter. What does that mean? What does that look like? Tell you what, let's go have a look. Um, so here, I'm going to go back to Gloria's site quickly. And I'm going to point out, so here are her social media links. She's tied in her Facebook, um, uh, which we call it Twitter, LinkedIn, and she's added in uh, her YouTube channel. So those are the four links and that's what those icons look like and in the layout design that she chose this is where they're showing up if i go um i believe she has them at the bottom of the page if i go down to the bottom of the page you're going to see those facebook um feeds so she's not added in twitter she's only tied in her facebook but those feeds are now coming on through into her website let me take you to another one where it's just a bit of a different layout. I think they have it. All right, this one's different. Uh, so here, uh, again, a different layout, different uh, palette, color palette that they chose and everything. So here they've tied in their Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And then if I scroll down, here's the Facebook feeds on the side. Bar. So just to give you an idea of how it looks, uh, depending on, you know, what you chose. Okay, back to the control panel. And now I'm going to take you over to the section called content options. Okay, here, you can customize the content that you want to display on your website. This is where you can turn off the automated blog post that Exact Contact provides. I've got it checked off. I want them to be included. I mean, this stuff is, it's written for me. It's fresh content. 
why wouldn't I? Uh, you do always have the ability to uh, add in your own blog. I'm going to touch on the blog section in a little bit. And here you can also indicate the number of posts that display. You can also indicate that a phone number is required when they fill out a lead capture form here. Uh, you've also got the ability of showing the mortgage calculator. And we even offer a Google um, widget for translation. And you can pick and choose the languages that you want. I'm going to show you what all this looks like. And basically, that's all you do here for the content options. Hit Save Changes. So let's go check this out. Let's go check out what this blog thing looks like, the number of posts that display. Let's go see. Uh, I'm not going to fill out a form because I don't want an agent calling me. <laughs> and then basically, I have to tell them that I was just testing things out. Might not be the happiest camper. Um, and then I'm going to show you where the mortgage calculator looks like. And also, I'll show you that little widget for the Google Translate. OK. So I'm going to go back over. Let's let's give this one a go. I think she she does have the Google Translate. So I'm going to just click on it. And oh boy, she's added in quite a few, quite a few different languages. Um, you want to see how it works? Why not? Let's go click on one. I'll select Italian. You might have noticed my last name. So, uh, and there you go. Auto translated her entire uh, website content. I'm going to go back to English. There we go. Okay, so that's the Google Translate widget. I think uh, I think there's somebody else who has it. Ah, yeah, the, they have it as well. And then they have only added in two, French and Spanish. Is that Spanish? Yes. Okay, uh, so that's the Google Translate widget. Oh, perfect. Check this out. Here's the mortgage calculator. So that's what it looks like on um, this agent's, uh, on this team's website, that icon. Uh, but let's go take a look and see what it looks like on hers. I think, nope, she doesn't. Oh, I know what she did. She's added it to her buying page. Okay, let's go look at that then. She's got it in her buying section. So again, different, different things you can do, right? Um, so I'm going to scroll down and mortgage calculator. Here you go. So that's what that looks like. Okay, did I cover everything? Sorry, folks, let me just, nope, the blog, the blog. Okay, the blog. I'm gonna go back up, and we're gonna see what those uh, blogs look like. And uh, we're gonna get to it in a second. I think she's got it, yes, yeah, she does after her listing. So here um, are the blogs. I think she's actually opted to display more than four, if I recall. Yes, yeah, she did. So here you can see those blog posts. Of course, if I wanted to read more on that specific post, I can just click the continue reading. But she's got quite a few displaying here. Uh, let's go check out another one. I think they have four displaying, if I recall correctly. So yeah, latest news. Again, there are those blogs, the ones that we provided, increasing your foyer appeal. Uh, oh, no, they have six showing. All right, so there you go. Again, you've got control, right? You make this look and feel how you want it to. So that's um, the content section. I'm pretty sure I covered it all. Blog, number of posts, mortgage calculator, widget, translation. Yeah, okay, wonderful. We're gonna go over and move over to the SEO options section. Okay, here for the description. You can complete the information in here to ensure that your website is effectively indexed by search engines. The SEO description field is where you can enter a description of the services uh, and the area that you market on your website. What does that look like? <laughs> that was probably um, maybe a little bit of gibberish to some of you, but let's, um, let's do a search. Let's do a Google search. Actually, going to do a Google search for this guy's website. I know his name, so I'm going to pull him up. Oh, nice! Shows up on second uh, when I do a Google search. So here is that SEO description. So you can see he's got things in there like um, so Nolansville, Tennessee, buying and sell homes. Um, he's got information about himself, up-to-date listings, market. Um, 
just to give you an example, so now you know SEO description, what it looks like, and when you do a Google search, where it shows up right underneath. Okay, um, back to the control panel. Now we're going to cover the SEO keywords. The keywords, um, you've got the ability to add in these keywords and phrases in your web content and it really makes it possible for people to find your site via search engines. Um, think of it this way. You want these words to kind of speak the same language as your potential visitor base uh, to help connect searchers to your site. You can add as many words or phrases you want here. So things like um, property types, um, uh, neighborhoods, schools, hospitals, communities, uh, transit, parks, I mean, what have you. You can type in a whole bunch of SEO keywords in here to make you um, more findable, basically. Okay, the Google Analytics ID. Now, this may not be relevant to some of you. Um, I'll, I'll get into it. The analytics, basically, it's a free web analytics tool that's offered by Google, of course, uh, and it helps you analyze your website traffic. It, uh, it gives you insight into how users find and use your website. You can track your return on investment on your uh, online marketing. And if you already have a Google Analytics account, all you do is you plug in the ID number here. If you don't have one, um, you can just skip this. Skip that field, don't fill it out. So you would only have your SEO description and keywords and then you would hit save changes. And essentially, that, that's it for the SEO options. Um, okay, I'm going to now dive into the lead capture, the lead capture forms section. Let's hop over there. Okay, so with the help of, um, you, as you can see, we've got a variety of lead capture forms. These are customizable you'll seamlessly gather a perspective's um, information into your exact contact CRM. You'll know who is interested in which property, and that really offers you insight into how to serve that potential new client better. So um, I did show you those lead capture emails that you got. I showed you in my account under utilities where those leads funneled through, waiting to be accepted. So this is the section where you can actually work with these lead capture forms. Again, customizable. You can rename this whatever you want. Instead of, con instead of please contact me for, with more information, play around with that wording. Change it up. Have it displayed however you want. You can also indicate what fields are required when they fill out the form. So that's a really nice additional feature. And you've got that capability with all the forms here. So as you can see, so there's that. It really um, helps you stay in the loop by you know, being alerted with those emails, allowing you to monitor, monitor their interest, and gives you the opportunity to follow up accordingly and have an amazing response time. Because as soon as you get that email, you're going to follow up with them. Okay. So the, the lead capture forms, yeah, basically you've got the buyer form, the seller form, the home evaluation form, the just standard contact, uh, contact me form, and this is where you can uh, work with them. Okay, um, now what I'm going to do is hop over to the email header. No, and maybe I'll just go over here quickly and show you some of those lead capture forms that folks have uh, got. So let's see here if I go contact. I'm not going to fill it out. But if I go to the um, contact form, you'll see here that these are the, the ones with the asterisks are the required fields, and then I can add in additional information. And um, you've also got the ability to add in the CAPTCHA. So um, if that's something that you want, you can absolutely do that. 
So that's, uh, that's nice to have. Um, let me go over to another site and let's go click on, um, we're going to go to a different section. Let's go click on the buying section and we'll see what this, what they've done with their form. So um, looks like they've got that set up that way. So only the first three fields are required. The rest is additional information. They do have that CAPTCHA. Um, set up. So there you go. Just gives you an idea of, uh, you know, those forms, what they look like. Um, you've got the ability of having them in those different sections. And let's see the seller one, essentially the same name, address. There you go. Okay. Uh, I'm going back to my control panel in my um, exact contact account. And now we're going to hop over to the email header. Here you can opt to use your email header that you set up in your exact contact uh, CRM. All you have to do is follow the steps. Um, but if again, if you need any kind of assistance, um, please contact our support team. They're here to help. This is it's pretty um, self-explanatory if you wanted to do this. You simply follow the steps, but we're here to help if you do need that help. Then now the next area, the next section under my uh, control panel is the theme options. And we've got a few things that we can do here. So number one is here you can select the layout. So you'll notice that we have some different layouts and um, you'll see like for instance the property search over here, that's where it shows up. On this layout the property search actually goes horizontally across. Um, same thing here. You'll also notice that the um, home page and those social media share buttons over here are at the top. Here they actually go underneath the banner image. Here they're on top of the banner image. So yeah, it's just you know a matter of choosing which one you like best. Uh, pretty much it's just a preference thing. Then you've got the ability to incorporate those widgets into your website. So for example, the the Facebook feed, how I showed you those Facebook feeds um, on those websites at the bottom of the page or on the sidebar. So that's where you would just incorporate that widget here. And basically, um, I've already got it there, but if I wanted to add one of these widgets, you just drag it over and plop it right in there and it does it. So here I've added in the Facebook feed, I've added in my Google Translator, my social media links, so it's just a matter of coming here, picking and choosing which widgets you want. And of course, you, again, you have total control. So if you do something here and you're like, oh, I don't like that, just move it, put it back. That simple. Okay, now we're going to go through the menus a little bit. Here you can customize the menu layout. So again, Total control. Make this thing look like how you want it to look. Whatever you like, whatever you prefer. Um, you pick and choose the menu items that you want to display or not display. That simple. Okay, now we're going to get into the pages. Okay, so like I said earlier when we were going through the features of uh, what Exact Contact offers for our website solution, one of the things is that we start you off with 16 pre-written pages, uh, but you can add more um, and super simple. Right there, add new. You, you, honestly, you can have up to 99 pages. I don't think that I've ever seen that before, to tell you the truth, um, but you've got the capability of adding in pretty much whatever you want in here. And you can customize those pages, customize the content, like the buying section. So, for example, if I go click where buying is and hit edit. Just give it a second to populate that info. So here's the buying page. Here is the pre-written content that we've provided for you right out of the box. But guess what? You're not locked in with this content. You can change it. You can totally write up your own thing here and then your buying page would have the content that you yourself wrote up. Super simple. Okay. Uh, as I said earlier, I was going to touch on the blog section, so let's go to the blog section. So number one, 
If you set up um, to automatically pull in the blogs that Exact Contact has, and you've got the capability of add, um, indicating the number of blogs that show, here you can add your own blogs. If, if this is something that you like to do, you can absolutely do that. Maybe you've got a marketing department or something at your office and your company already does something like this. You can absolutely take that blog that they do and stick it in here into your website. It would be pretty simple copy paste. So there's the blog section. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, take you just quickly to the media. Basically, this is your library. So whatever images, um, you know, videos that you've got, they'll all be stored here. So um, and you, you know, you can add new stuff. It's basically, basically the media library. So. And of course, if you need to change your password, it's right there. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go back over to a couple of these websites and sort of point out some things, uh, you know, some of the stuff maybe that folks have customized. And um, what I want to do is I kind of just want to mention that, you know, we really give you the freedom to do a lot with these WordPress templated websites. And honestly, you're really only limited by your imagination and your creativity. Um, I'm going to point out some really neat things that these folks have done. Maybe it might, you know, get that hamster wheel spinning, generate some brainstorming, some ideas for you. And if not, well, hopefully it's just a nice visual presentation that you're going to enjoy. So I'm going to hop into, am I in the right one here? Sorry, I've got so many tabs open. Mississauga, yeah, I did want to check this one out. Okay, so she's um, done a great job with her overall customization. So number one, um, that beautiful banner image that she's got in there, very picturesque. Um, the fact that she's incorporated those you know, logos, then her own. Um, if I scroll down a little bit, you'll see that she has set this up. This is not what we provided out of the box. She did, did this up herself on her homepage. And look at how she's gone ahead and broken out her neighborhoods within Mississauga. Um, so that's really, really neat. Um, you know, visually, it's, it looks fantastic. Um, you know, she's gone in and she's written up a whole bunch of content here for herself, even inserted a nice personal signature. Great job. Look at that. She's even got some real estate market updates right here, some stats. So uh, fantastic job. Um, another thing, uh, those neighborhood pages. So that's really cool. Let's just go click on one. Let's see what she's done here with the neighborhood pages. Wow. She's gone ahead and inserted a map, details. She's carved out the region for that specific neighborhood. She's got details in there. Um, that's just fantastic. She's even gotten, she's even gone ahead and listed out the schools. And I believe that's their rating system. Uh, so fantastic. Fantastic. So just to give you some ideas of some of the customizations that you can do here. Um, and again, she did have those um, feeds down here at the bottom of her page for her Facebook. I don't think she tied in Twitter. Oh, no, she does have Twitter. Look at that. So she's got both the Facebook and Twitter feeds here at the bottom of her page. All right. Um, let me, I'm going to take you over to this one now. Good old uh, Flint Adam in Nolensville, Tennessee. He's also done a great job with customization. So you'll notice here he's typed in his own uh, banner quote, hashtag love Nolensville. That's really great. Um, and if I go on his page, he's incorporated a great video um, where he really speaks about Nolensville. He's very passionate about what he does the value and the information that he provides. So he's gone in and wrote up uh, a nice synopsis uh, bio about himself. So that's great. He's got featured listings here on his homepage, those, um, those little widgets, his blog post. 
Um, his, uh, his Facebook feed and Twitter were here on the side. There you can see it. Um, and then what else? Um, he's also added in, let check out his neighborhood page. He's gone, look at that. He's gone in and at like, like everything. And if I go just click on one, oops, let's go click on one. There we go. You're going to see that he's got, he's incorporated a fantastic photo. Um, he's got a map with all of the properties within that specific neighborhood. Um, those property details here. Fantastic, fantastic job. Um, another thing, I don't know if you noticed this, but so he's also got a section here, more info. He's gone in and, um, you know, added in a whole bunch of stuff here. He's got restaurants. He's got schools. He's broken out different maps. Um, you can see his sales history. You can see his client testimonials. So really, really great job. Um, really, really well done. And here, I'm going to take you to this one over here because this I thought this was kind of cute. Um, so he's actually done a play on his name. Look at the personal slogan that he's got here. Selling is a breeze. And it's Adam Bree. Uh, I thought that was really neat. And again, um, you know, he's gone in here and he set up some things and uh, some of the stuff he's still utilizing from the predefined content that we've provided. So there's a good example. Um, I'm going to go, where, where, where is it? I, oh, this is neat. So as I said earlier about the, the banner images, um, you, you saw the little library of banner images that you could select from that we provide. But again, you can utilize your own. Here's the Stevens team out in Halifax, Nova Scotia, here in Canada. And that's the Halifax Harbor. They've inserted that image. So in addition, this is, this is, a, this is a team logo that they've created. They've got their company one here, but this is their own personal team. So with their own logo, their own banner. They've done a great job. They've got a video here embedded right on their home page. So that's really fantastic. And we do see their their tweet uh, tweets, <laughs> their feeds for Twitter and Facebook here. So that's really great. Um, they've got a sec section here for testimonials for the team. So that's really neat. And um, there was just one more I wanted to show you. Let me make sure I'm getting to the right one here. Thornhill, yes. <coughs> Excuse me. So this guy, um, he did a great job customizing his homepage to speak about testimonials. Um, to tell you the truth, when I was doing research and I stumbled upon this one, um, he had me captivated. <laughs> I, I actually went through and read all of these stories. Um, he's got some really neat, um, interesting kind of scenarios that have happened throughout his career. So not only the agent testimonials, but he's gone as far as actually speaking to real life experiences and scenarios that happened in his career um, and went about you know detailing everything with that story. So uh, I thought that was a really neat thing that he did. Um, and like I said, I mean, I, I see these websites every day, all day. Um, and when I was doing research for this webinar and putting everything together, I stumbled across this one and I was captivated. He had me on, he had me on his website for probably like 45 minutes. Um, anyway, so just to kind of give you an idea of what's possible, all of the things that you can do with Exact Contacts Agent Solution. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just now hop over into my next slide and basically tell you what your next step should be and just to kind of close up, wrap up and summarize everything that we've just sort of went through. So again, with Exact Contacts, it's really a complete three-in-one solution that includes your CRM, your email marketing platform, and your website. You can ensure that you are managing all of your keep-in-touch communications. 
your marketing strategies, your listings, your buyers, and your online presence with a single easy to use platform that's at a fantastic low price. So in closing, um, again, with Exact Contacts agent websites, you get websites that are fully responsive and automatically adjust to all devices wonderfully. Um, customizable themes with mobile optimized uh, images, the professionally written content. I mean, those 16 pages right out of the box with the bi-weekly blog post, um, you know, that's value right there in itself. Um, the fact that you've got the, opt, uh, the optional listing integration, that IDX, and it's SEO optimized. The, the functionality of the powerful lead generation and the lead capture capabilities. Um, I mean, you saw what that looked like. And then, of course, the full social media integration. And um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but with IDX Pro, you actually get um, a Facebook app. So that is something additional that you can um, incorporate. So your next steps. Okay, folks, what you want to do is go to your user profile section. If you want to activate your agent website, click on that link, activate your agent website. You go through the first three steps. Then when you get to the part for the IDX, you decide whether you want an IDX package or not. After your website's launched, you can go through the motions of getting your branding set up, setting up those lead capture forms, um, tie in your social media accounts, customize content for those pages if you want. If not, start with what we gave you out of the box. Go ahead and set up that blog, indicate um, you know, how many posts to display. Basically, once you've got it all set up and ready to go, I mean, go and look at it, right? Go and look at it. And then the last thing you want to do, you absolutely want to ensure that your website is captured in your user profile section under the contact and address info tab. That, that information under that tab, and I'm going to hop over there quickly, basically that gets captured in your email marketing that is going to go out. So, um, hop over back to user profile quickly, contact and address info tab. The last field down here is where you can put your website address. And like I said, that is going to show up like in things like your monthly e-newsletter, um, you know, your other mass emails that go out. And of course, you've always got the capability of inserting a link, a hyperlink to your website with a call to action in your email communications. Oh, by the way, you want to check out all the fantastic listings I've got that just hit the market? Click here to go to my website. Absolutely. So there it is, folks. I, I honestly, I really hope this presentation has given you more insight into Exact Contact's website features. Um, again, Exact Contact is committed to your success, and we are here to help. So, you know, if, if you need it, the support team is available to provide you with our dedicated concierge service to get your website ready and launched today. Toll free number is 1-866-265-6990 um, and they are available Monday through Friday 9 a.m. Eastern to 8 p.m. Eastern. And again, if you wanted to see those video tutorials, um, we've got that section. You've got access to it when you're going through your control panel um, when you want to click here. So remember on that welcome page, click here to view our tutorials for our agent website or click here to view the tutorials for the IDX. You've also got uh, that link. I don't know why it didn't work, but that link that I clicked on here, oops, that link that I clicked on here basically takes you to our public website and it takes you to our resource section. Our resource section is where you can access all of our video tutorials. And here is the link for setting up your agent website and setting up your IDX um, package. So again, under more resources. OK, folks, um, I want to thank you so much for your time today. That's been about an hour. So I'm going to wrap things up again. If you need any help or if you need any assistance whatsoever, please feel free to give us a call. Um, Thank you again for your time, and uh, basically, that's the end, folks.
Take care, everyone. Have yourselves a fantastic day.